every known eventuality, whether they like liquids or capsules or whatever. We, we've covered all these things in the, what we call the Mighty 90. We assure them that they're going to get optimal in, in many cases 8,000 times or 16,000 times or 30,000 times the minimum data requirement. Because when you have a disease which is debilitating you to the point where doctors have got you on pharmaceuticals, they want to cut your knees out and put in artificial knees, people don't want to wait a year to be healed. And so what we've learned is to use a bigger hammer and to, I call it, and to give them mega doses and nutrients to the point where we can rebuild joints, we can rebuild the cartilage. I've had people who's got their meniscus has been surgically removed because of terrible accidents. They've all torn up. Mm -hmm. They've surgically removed these and we've rebuilt them because surgeons are sloppy. They always leave a couple of stem cells for me and I can get to them and rebuild the cartilage, rebuild the meniscus. I do this all the time with these raw materials. And so we've learned over 33 years a lot. And um, so we use a heavy hammer so that within three to six weeks, people are saying, I can't believe this. I mean, I was on medication for 40 years. I'm off my medication now mm -hmm. after three weeks. People who are all gnarled up with rheumatoid arthritis, it took a year, but their fingers are all straightened up and they can play the piano now. Okay, mm -hmm. people who were scheduled, in fact, very famous people, Andrew Young, who was um, Jimmy Carter's ambassador to the UN. He was a, the mayor of Atlanta and the US representative mm -hmm. from the state of Georgia. He was scheduled for double knee surgery 20 years ago. Um, and his son called me up and asked me to help him. And I re regrew his knees 20 years ago. And he canceled his surgeries. He canceled his surgeries and I rebuilt his knees for him. He's never had to um, rebuild his, uh, or have, have his surgery on his knees. Um, I'm the guy through Andy Young who rebuilt Evander Holyfield's heart. Now you think about it, here's a guy who had a heart attack during a championship mm -hmm. fight, was able to go back and get uh, a approval in the boxing commission physicals to go back to box professionally after he's had a heart attack. How, how can you do that? Well, I can do that. I take people off of the um, dialysis all the time. I get people off the heart transplant list all the time. I regrow cartilage. I, I grew a heart muscle. I grow knees. I regrow kidneys. I make kidneys function. Uh, I uh, 